let's review target margin and how to use target margin to generate price, retail price, uh, based on item costs. Uh, SMS has uh, some sophisticated features on how to do this. We're going to run through a few of those. So let's look at the items. We have five items in the browser here. Um, each item has a target margin configured on it. This one happens to be 25%. This one the same. Actually, they're all 25%. Each has a cost, which is required to calculate a retail using target margin. And this target margin will is, is used to set the retail price. This target margin SRP is used to set an SRP price, which is a reference price. So let's look at how simply this works. Uh, we have a cost here. Let's change this cost to 1950. Now our cost is 1950. If we want to calculate a price, we can use the little dollar sign, send it to a target and price level of our choice, and send it to retail price, and use the margin and rounding of the item. So we will say uh, yes, and notice our price change to $2.17. Let's say we wanted a rounding of uh, 5 or 9. Set that. Generate price. Retail. Okay. And it changes to 219. So, on a one item at a time basis, that works great. There may be times when you want to work on multiple items at a time. And there's a nice tool in here called uh, margin matrix that will break all your items down by category or sub-department. In this case I'm using category and within each category it will look at all the margins and display how many items for each assigned margin. So this is a quick way to go in and set your margins. Uh, for example, we're on pastas, they're all set to 25 if we wanted those to be 30, we just change that, and now all of our margins are at 30 for each item. So let's work on uh, some drink items. In this situation, we're going to create a cost batch. This may be a batch that you import. Let's create a future cost batch. Margin or margin change, and since typically what we're, our ultimate goal is to set our future price, let's create a future price batch to go along with that. So what we would like to do is put all of these items into a cost batch. So I'm going to take one item at a time. I'm going to select my cost batch. I'm going to add a record. I'm going to change the cost to 110. I'm going to go to the next. I'm going to change it to 120. Next, 100. And next will be 90, just so we get a few different options. Oh. Not 90, how about uh, 20? So now we have a cost batch, and I can look at those items in the cost batch by selecting the cost batch and pressing execute. These are the items in the cost batch. And what we want to do is create a future price change batch for each one of these items in the cost batch. Now use the copy button. This will affect four items, yes. Uh, generate retail price. Apply only changes but create record if needed, yes. And now we have a record future price change batch record for each one of those cost changes using the target margin and calculated price. So all you have to do now is execute the cost batch and price batch and you 
have your updates. So that's a quick run through of future price, target margin, and margin matrix use.